ever wondered what causes migraines and how they evolve? Migraines are not just your typical headaches. They're a lifespan neurological disorder, a condition that can stick with you throughout your life. Picture this, intense head pain that feels like a pulsating throb, often accompanied by an unpleasant symphony of symptoms like nausea, vomiting and extreme sensitivity to light and sound. But here's the catch. Migraines are not static. They're like chameleons, changing in prevalence and clinical presentations as we age. While migraines are common, understanding their mechanisms remains a challenge. Did you know that migraine attacks evolve over different phases? It's true. A migraine is not just a simple headache, but a complex neurological event that progresses through several stages, each with its own unique set of symptoms and neural mechanisms. The first phase is the prodrome phase. This can occur hours or even days before the headache begins. During this phase, individuals may experience subtle changes such as mood swings, food cravings, or even increased sensitivity to light and sound. Following the prodrome is the aura phase, which is characterized by visual disturbances. Not everyone experiences this phase, but those who do might see flashing lights, zigzag lines, or may even have temporary vision loss. Next comes the attack phase. This is when the actual headache hits, often accompanied by nausea, vomiting, and extreme sensitivity to light, sound, and even movement. The pain can last from a few hours to several days. The final phase, known as the postdrome phase, is akin to a migraine hangover. Even after the headache has subsided, individuals often feel drained or washed out. What's fascinating yet perplexing is that the neural mechanisms behind each phase differ, making it a truly complex and dynamic neurological event. In some individuals, migraines can even transform into a chronic condition with daily or almost daily headaches. The mechanisms behind the evolution of migraines remain largely a mystery. What we do know is that migraines are not static. They are an evolving chronic condition transitioning in some patients from an episodic form to a debilitating chronic state characterized by daily or almost daily headaches. But what triggers this transformation? This is where our understanding starts to blur. There are a few potential culprits that researchers are eyeing. Genetic and epigenetic factors, for instance, could influence an individual's susceptibility to this transformation. In other words, the blueprint of our DNA and the way our genes express themselves might play a significant role in this process. Then there are inflammatory processes. Inflammation is a natural response to injury or disease, but when it becomes chronic, it can potentially set the stage for the evolution of episodic migraines into a chronic condition. Lastly, there's central sensitization. This is a condition of the nervous system that is associated with the development and maintenance of chronic pain. When our nervous system goes into a state of high alert, it can amplify the pain signals, potentially playing a part in the evolution of migraines. Despite the unknowns, considerable progress has been made in understanding migraines. While there's still much to learn, significant strides have been made in migraine research. The pathophysiological mechanisms of migraines, though complex, are beginning to be understood. We now know that migraines are not just a headache, but a neurological disorder involving a cascade of biological events. This includes the activation of a network of nerves and chemicals that irritate blood vessels in the brain, leading to the throbbing pain characteristic of migraines. In the quest to comprehend why some people are more susceptible to migraines than others, researchers have turned to our genetic makeup. Certain genetic factors have been identified that may heighten the susceptibility to migraines. This genetic influence is a promising avenue of research as it could potentially lead to personalized treatment strategies based on an individual's genetic profile. In addition to these biochemical and genetic insights, progress has been made in understanding the functional and anatomical changes that occur during a migraine attack. Using advanced imaging techniques, scientists have observed changes in blood flow to the brain, 
alterations in the brain's electrical activity and even structural changes in the brain's white matter over time. These findings provide a glimpse into the dynamic nature of migraines and how they affect the brain. With ongoing research, we continue to unravel the complexities of migraines. To sum up, migraines are complex and evolving conditions. These are not static disorders, but rather they are dynamic and often progressive, evolving from episodic to chronic forms in some cases. We've touched upon the various phases of a migraine, each associated with its own specific neural mechanisms and symptoms. The mystery, however, remains in the evolution of migraines. The mechanisms behind this transformation are not yet fully understood, but factors such as genetics, epigenetics, inflammatory processes, and central sensitization are believed to play significant roles. On a brighter note, there has been considerable progress in migraine research. Scientists are delving deep into the pathophysiological mechanisms of migraines and the associated genetic factors that may influence susceptibility to the disease. This progress brings us one step closer to understanding this lifespan neurological disorder and its age-dependent changes in prevalence and clinical presentations. As research continues, we hope to gain a deeper understanding of migraines and develop more effective treatments for this debilitating condition.